hey flawless skin gang welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Sele Kalio, and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by now on this channel we do skincare diy recipes skincare product reviews i teach you how you can get a glowing beautiful skin with simple recipes now we are slowly introducing other kinds of videos like entertainment lifestyle videos and other videos now if you love to see more of those kinds of videos please leave a comment in the comment section down below now on today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can make this beautiful glowing skin whitening body butter it is very very beautiful on the skin if you want to see this keep on watching hey guys welcome back to my channel i think i've said that before okay yes i have okay so before we start i'm just going to put on my gloves as usual making sure that my hands are clean to protect my knuckles because y'all know my knuckles be wrinkled so i don't want anything getting on them and getting them looking all dark and stuff so i'm just going to wear my gloves and make sure that everywhere is protected and make sure before you start your production make sure you have a well sanitized environment make sure your tables are well cleaned with bleach and some alcohol to make sure you're removing every form of bacteria and yes this is just me struggling to wear a simple glove 10 years later the glove is on finally okay guys so moving on we are going to you know have a little bowl and measurements and making sure that everything that we need is around us and clean so for our first ingredient we're going to be using bee wax yes bee wax now bee wax is used in some um, formulations to help hydrate condition suits and calm the skin here i have my little book my very very important book so we're just going to put in our bee wax at five grams i'm going to leave the ingredients and their measurements on the screen for you guys to see as usual so it's easy for you guys to just jot down everything i'm going to list it as i put it in to my bowl so next i have my rose hip oil so rose hip is a very very essential fatty acid it's very rich in essential fatty acids and antioxidants and it is very good for tissue regeneration like tissue and cell regeneration um it is very very used in um products that are used for healing of the skin like wounds and all of that so we're gonna throw that in into our recipe and today we're using rose hip oil at 9.5 percent and if there are any ad adjustments after the um recording of this video i'm going to just leave the the appropriate measurements on the screen okay so next i have my sweet almond oil so sweet almond oil is good to treat a dry skin conditions like eczema psoriasis it also improves acne and also the oils fatty acid content may help dissolve excess oil on the skin that's sebum while the retinol in the oil may reduce the appearance of acne and improve cell turnover so we're going to add that into our recipe just because it's a good oil okay and we're using our sweet almond oil at 20 percent that's 20 grams remember i said i'm going to leave the appropriate measurements on the screen for you guys to do because most of the time when i start my formulations 
and i always end up with a different measurement from what i have you know initially arranged so i'm going to put the appropriate measurements on here so here is my shea butter so shea butter is a very good ingredient for softening the skin it also helps with anti-aging um it's anti-inflammatory and it has healing properties as well so using shea butter um is good but when using it on your face please be careful if you have a very oily skin there's a possibility there's a possibility that shea butter might clog your pores so you have to be very very careful when using this product on your face but overall it is a very good product you can use it on your face if you don't have any issues with oils so here i have my mango butter so mango butter is an antioxidant it's an anti-inflammatory and it's an anti-aging um, butter and it's very good for suiting the skin that are you know afflicted with dryness eczema dermatitis and it's also non comedogenic so mango butter can benefit acne prone skin oily skin you know whatever kind of skin you have please ignore all the trailers that are passing here today whatever kind of skin you have skin type you have mango butter is good for you you don't have any issues with whether you're going to break out or you're going to have any reactions or any of that mango butter is good for everybody everybody can use it and you can use it on your face it is very very good as well so we're just going to throw that in there like i said i'm going to leave all the measurements on the screen for you guys to see so please make sure you are watching this video till the end so you can see exactly what the measurements are and for those of you that are asking me to you know teach you how to convert your recipe from percentage to grams i have been saying it for months now just get my ebook it will help you on that part and so many other parts that you would want to learn or improve as a skincare formulator so just get my ebook it's very very cheap it's the link to get the ebook is down in my description bar and also all the ingredients that i used here are available for sale you can check my website down below with the link to buy any of the ingredients so because this is a whitening body butter we are going to be using sepi white now we all know how i feel about sepi white so basically sepi white works by blocking melanin and making those spots lighter and less visible in color to the naked eye so basically if you add sepi white in your formulation it helps with hyperpigmentation spots dark spots on your skin so all of you that are asking me what you can use for dark spots sepi white is your number one go-to ingredient that you can incorporate in your formula to help with dark spots sunburns and all those pigmentation on your skin so here we have our alantoin powder so alantoin is an extract from the roots of the comfrey plant and it is a non-irritating ingredient that suits and protects the skin with the ability to help heal the skin and stimulate the growth of new tissues it is great it is it's a great product for you know keeping the skin on the top of its game so yes we're going to add that and also it is said that alantoin helps to protect the, the skin from uv rays and all other things that can cause um that can be caused by sun damage so yes we're going to add this into our recipe and i know a lot of people are going to ask can this be used in the daytime i personally i don't like using oils in the daytime um especially when it's a sunny day but yes this product can be used in the daytime So moving on we're going to be using snow white powder so snow white powder is also known as crystal white powder so when you see crystal white powder don't be confused that's just snow white powder they're talking about and it also helps to treat um, acne it also helps to treat under dark underarms freckles age spots it also improves the color of the skin so it's basically a very good whitening powder now a lot of you will say oh it's supposed to be used in the soap you can use it in your creams as well it's okay it's okay so yes and this 
ingredient is a water soluble ingredient and because we're not using like water water in this formulation we're going to use our water-based ingredients to um, dissolve this powder or at least um, make it miscible in that sol uh, solution so we can add it in our butter so these are our oil our, our powders and we're just going to pour them together and start adding our water-based products so who remembers this product that we did a few days ago see how beautiful that looks like it's so cute if you don't know how to do this i'm going to leave a link up here for you guys this is our snow white hot oil and i'm going to leave a link here on how to do that so we're going to use this also in our formulation to you know boost the whitening effect of all the ingredients that have been added here so i put that in and i will leave the ingredient measurements on the screen once again i know i've said that a lot but i can as well keep saying it mm -hmm. okay so this is our glycerin or glycerin or whatever you call it we're also going to be adding that for extra moisture we need emollients and you know, we're trying to add um humectants and antioxidants and all of those things into this formulation to help give that beautiful look now there are some people that will use all the creams in the world and you still you know you're getting white but your skin is not very you know smooth and supple that is because maybe your skin doesn't like creams so you can actually opt for butters and see i personally i my body accepts both creams and butters so sometimes i switch over and i use my butters sometimes i use my creams but this butter was so cute and i have told myself i'm going to use it for the next one month okay i'm going to be using this butter for the next one month and i'm i'm really loving it it's beautiful now moving on i'm also going to be using this sepi white serum i have all the ingredients for sale the links to purchase all ingredients are in the description bar so you can just click on the link and it will take you to my website and then you can buy these ingredients um the link might take you directly to the ebook um pay page but you can just check other items on my website and we ship everywhere in the world and yeah so I'm just mixing all the other ingredients together while my other ingredients are being dissolved in the double boiler. And yeah, here we have our ingredients um, here. This is our oil, our oils and waxes that have been put together. In here I have my sepi white um, powder as well that has been dissolved. So I'm just going to add that into this bowl and just make sure that everything is on point. Now, if you're hearing a lot of noise, please bear with me, okay? So here I have my egg yolk. Um, we're going to be using fresh egg yolks but egg yolk but if you have the egg yolk powder you can as well use the egg yolk powder if you have um less sitting you can also use that in place of egg yolk but i don't have that so i'm using egg yolks and you can also use your egg yolk powder for this so we're going to go ahead to mix all our ingredients together so here I have poured in my powders and serums that I mixed earlier into uh, waxes and oils and everything has been mixed. Don't worry, I will try to put them in phases and how they were added so that you're not confused. And then now I'm just going to put this into the fridge and make keep it there for like 20 minutes. Now this is what we have after 20 minutes of our oil being in the fridge. Now we're just going to whisk everything together um you can whisk it to a very um buttery consistency or you can whisk it to a form you can whisk it however you want to whisk 
so here i am just whisking and whisking and whisking away so if you haven't gotten my ebook it's still available for you guys to buy send me a message or you can use the link in the description by to in the description bar to buy my ebook directly from my website and while you are buying other my ebook from my website you might as well check other ingredients that i have on there so now i'm just going to remove everything from the sides and try to whisk everything back together everything that is gone on the side of the plate i'm just trying to put bring back everything together so i can whisk again you can leave it like this if you want it's really fluffy and pretty but i'm a little extra i don't know why so i kept whisking and whisking and whisking and i kept whisking and i was still whisking two thousand years later I finally am done with skin and now I'm just going to add my other ingredients like my egg yolk and for my egg yolk I'm just going to be adding a very small amount which is 3% and 3% I'm just going to eyeball it and it's going to be around that. And now I'm just going to mix everything together. And make sure everything is well incorporated and as you whisk you see that your products begin to double in size that's when you know that you know you have gotten to the point where you should be so i popped it back into the freezer uh here i'm just bringing everything back together and then i will whisk it all over again to get um, the consistency that I want so here you can see that our product has doubled in size and I will just keep whisking that and make sure that everything is well incorporated so finally I'm done whisking and I'm going to save my products in a very clean container these containers are available on my website you can go on there to purchase them in dozens now if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell down below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up because that will help put my video out there on the algorithm and we will get more views and you know more a lot of other things you know what i mean so here is our beautiful butter and hope you enjoyed this video you can add so many other things to this you can add your colors to give it a beautiful color you can add um rose petals you can add lavender you can add so many other things to this and you will love this product i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you try out this recipe please leave a comment down below telling me how you feel about these videos and I hope to see you back here on my channel as a subscriber in my next video.